Ever since man came up with the idea of thinking, he's been thinking about if he was free to choose his own thoughts. Throughout human history, many great characters have tried to answer this question, such as Tom Cruise, Minority Report, or Homer Simpson in The Simpsons. Yet science thinks it may have come up with the answer. In 1983, Benjamin Libet did a study on wrists, and in that study, he showed that we may not be as free as we freely think we are. Here's our find to tell us more. Hello, I am Alfine, the math scientist. I'm here to tell you about the Libet study. Very interesting study uh, he did uh, with uh, a few of his friends. Now, uh, what he did was he had a participant with an EEG, which is a brain recording machine. It monitors activity and the uh, electro electrical discharge of the brain across the cortex. Uh, now, while they had this machine on, he would ask them to flick their wrist and he would ask them to monitor the time at which they first felt the urge, urge, very important word, to flick their wrist and the time at which they felt that the action was completed. Now, in order to do this, you have to look at the clock I had made. Come over here, you can come closer. It's a very interesting clock. It does one whole rotation every 2.5 seconds. And it is a real clock, not one that is on a whiteboard. <laughs> now, you would have them look at this clock and they would say, you would say, pick your wrist. They would record the time at which they first felt the urge or the will to move the wrist. And he would look at their brain activity. Now, when he look at their brain activity, he noticed something to me not unsurprising but shocking to a lot of people that think we are completely free agents. He showed that the uh, brain was doing activity 500 milliseconds before they actually completed the action. What's more is that they only felt the urge to move 200 milliseconds before the action. So, there was brain activity for these whole 300 milliseconds before they first this first reported feeling this will to move. To me, not unsurprising that the brain is doing things before our mind is aware of it. Uh, you know, I, we have to have the brain doing the activity and then we are told about it. But to me, but to others, this is a, a shocking revelation. Uh, and it has been used widely by philosophers, maybe, to suggest that we are not free agents, we are automata, which is partly true, but uh, maybe an overestimation, I don't know. I will let you decide. So science is yet to work out if it's free to be science or not. Maybe we'll never find out. Same as how the rabbit got in the hat, or how the sun decides it's time to wake up. Join me next week when we'll be asking how cats are secretly controlling us. <laughs>